Okay guys, we're going to start in this video adding some details to our model. Um, so in the front we have some buttons here. Um, we're going to do these in two different ways. I'm going to start doing these buttons just here and then we'll do the turbo in a slightly different way. And I'm going to give you a couple of options when it comes to doing these. Um, now this can be a little bit tricky, so try follow along. Uh, so I'm going to turn on my surfaces. So I'm going to head into my front view and start by drawing some curves. Um, now these curves, I'm going to draw them on a layer called buttons. I've got them here. Um, first thing I'll start off with is a center line, just so I can make sure everything's centrally aligned. I don't want to rely on my canvases because they're not perfect. Um, so what I want to do here is just draw a circle out. It's roughly in the center of this circle. That looks about right. Um, and I'll do a straight line straight down, roughly the same length. So this line here, roughly the same length as uh, that line just there. Um, and the last one I want to do is just a line here. I'll start this at the center. Just move it up a little bit. Okay, and I'll just mirror that across. So I've got a centered line. I'll just join it up. Okay. Uh, next thing we need to do is just go ahead and cut this circle where it ends. So I'm just going to mirror that across as well. Okay, and I'll just hit trim. Uh, I might get rid of this center line as well now that I don't need it anymore. And these lines here. Okay, so you can see we've got that sort of shape and that shape. Uh, the next thing we need to do is project these onto this surface. Um, so to do that, we just need to hit project, type that into your command line. Uh, we're going to select the points and curves, being these curves here that we've done. I'll hit enter. And select the surfaces will be our main surface. I'll hit enter. Okay, let's have a look what's happened. Um, please be aware that when you project, you have to be in the planar view in which you want to project. So looking dead on to the uh, front of the stick blender in this case. Um, you can see that that's projected onto the surface, so these curves are now, these surfaces um, have made the shape of the curves conform to them. Slightly curved. And you can see it's happened on the back as well, so we'll just get rid of that. Okay. Uh, the next step here is to create some rails to sweep around these, and then we can uh, boolean them out. So uh, we'll grab a circle. We'll hit around curve, and select my first curve, and I'll hit 2 and press enter, go on a 2 millimeter circle. And I'll do the same for these as well, so around curve in the command line, and 2, and same again, around curve, and 2. Okay, next thing we want to do is sweep these around, these shapes. Uh, so to do that, we want to go surface, sweep one rail. Our rail is going to be this, and our cross section will be the circle. Hit enter twice. Okay. We'll do the same for the rest. So rail, rail, cross section, and okay. And rail, cross section, and okay. You see the surfaces we've created now conform to that, the design of our stick blender. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cap these. So I'll select them all and hit cap in the command line. Um, and then I'm going to fillet these edges because in the thing they're round. So solid fillet edge, I'll do them 0.5. Um, okay, you can see now we've got all these nicely filleted out on our surface. Um, the last step here is going to be to do a Boolean difference. So I'll go ahead and go to Boolean difference, select the surface to subtract from surface to subtract with will be these and we'll hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and turn off. It's a bit close. I'll be okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off these. Go to my base layer and turn off these curves. So you can see what we've got. And you see we're a bit close here because we're going to need to fill out this edge. There's not much room to work with. Um, but we'll see how we go. So we're going to try to do a fillet edge here. I'll try 0.1. 
Um, and I'll just select these edges. This this is where it can get a little bit tricky, so we'll see what happens when we fill it. Okay, that one worked. Um, we'll do this one here. And again, we just need to put these fillets on because we don't want any sharp edges on the outside of our model. It can look fake. Um, even a small fillet as 0.1 can make a lot of difference to the realism of your model. Okay, and we'll try this one here. Oops, fillet, solid, fillet edge. Okay. This is where it might get tricky. Let's make sure we select all these edges all the way around. Okay, and you can see here that not only do we just not have enough clearance, but this hasn't made, yeah, it hasn't come up correctly. Um, so we're going to do this manually. Um, I'll show you how to manually add fillets in. Um, so the first thing we need to do is get some curves on this surface. So to do that, we're just going to go to Curve, Curve from Objects, Duplicate Edge. I will grab all these edges all the way around in the same way. And what this is essentially going to do is show you how to manually add fillets in. The fillet tool again is just an automation of essentially a split line and a um in the group. This is our problem here. See there. Make sure you select them all correctly. Um, yeah, it's essentially splitting a surface, trimming it back, and then adding a sweep on, so of a curved profile. So we're just going to do that all manually. <coughs> all right, they've selected all those curves. We're in the duplicate edge tool. Press Enter. I'm going to hit Join straight away. Uh, so it's saying it's joined it into an open curve, uh, which is but we we don't want an open curve here. We need a closed curve. So we must have selected something wrong. It's very hard to tell where that is, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'll unhide my model and do this again more carefully. So curve from objects, duplicate edge. Okay, making sure I'm select zooming right in and selecting the correct curves. You can see I've got some other curves just hiding here, some seams, and they're what's causing the problem. Go. See, so I got two curves just here as well. It's like the outside edge. This one looks okay. And again, just here. Okay, I'll hit enter. Now we'll hit join again. Now we've gotten up in my command line one closed curve, so that's what we want. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and hide this model. Um, actually, I'll leave it. <coughs> actually, I'll hide it. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and do another sweep around this. So we're going to go to serve. Uh, we're going to draw a circle here. Um, that damn matter, we want our fillet, and in this case. Uh, I'm going to make this circle around curve. 0.1 was a bit too big, so I'll try 0.8. Oh, sorry. Around curve, I'm going to try 0.08. Okay. Very small. Uh, surface sweep one rail. Cross section curve. Okay. So now you can see what we've got is a tube running around this edge. So not quite a fillet, but it's not touching here now, which is good. Um, it'd be ideal if these were all the same size. So um, if you, yours do touch, just go back and reconstruct it. Um, so the next step we need to do is use this tube to split this surface. So we'll do 
command split. The object to split is going to be this main surface and the cutting object will be this tube. So hit enter. Okay. Uh, you, it doesn't, looks like nothing's happened, but when we delete the tube, you'll see that this surface, okay, has now been cut away. We can delete that as well. So now we have, um, I'll hide this curve and hide this curve. And you can see now we have an opening between these two surfaces that's even. So if you look in the side view, you can see it there. And that's where our fillet needs to go. Um, so to do that, the easiest way hopefully it will work will be surface and blend surface. And we'll just go ahead and select that profile, select that profile, hit enter. And you can see now it's built a blend between these two. Hopefully it should be pretty neat. Okay, we can go to rendered now and have a look and say that that's completed correctly. So you can see there now we have that button detail. Um, now, just thinking about it, uh, I think the front elevation, make sure that is being embossed, uh, embossed not debossed, so I've done them both debossed. Um, just need to reverse the process uh, to do that properly. I'll turn my base back on, unhide everything. Uh, button curves. So to fix this one up down here, I'm just going to delete what I did. So I'll just select all these surfaces in here by holding Control Shift and hit Delete. this right back up. See my curves are still here on my buttons layer. Uh, I'm just going to untrim, untrim, just click this edge. <coughs> so now I'm back to where I was. I'll do the same thing, sweep one rail. Okay, uh, we're going to go to, I'll just change the layer here. Oops. Control one, just because it's in purple. Okay, we'll do cap, we'll do solid, fill at edge again, all the same tools, 0.5, I think we're doing on these. Okay, now the only difference this time is instead of Boolean unioning, we're going to difference in, we're going to union it. So it's not okay to leave your model like that, like even though it looks okay, it's not correct, it's not neat, you need to put a fill it around it as well, so we need to... Uh, union these two together. Okay, so that should get rid of that interior surface. You can see there, it's got rid of it. Turn off my elevations. Okay, uh, I'll turn off my button curves. Oops, base change object layer. Okay. So you can see now that that's gone from being embossed, debossed to embossed. Um, we'll just do a fillet on this as well. So solid fillet edge. Might do it a little bit larger. Might try point three or something. That should work. There you go. Okay. Let's see our fillets there. Uh, we can turn off the ISO curves. They annoy me. Alright, so we've got our on button sorted. Again, just be careful. If your fillets aren't working, you do have to do them manually. Use the tube method. Um, and then use a blend surface. If the blend surface doesn't work, you could use a rail surface. So there's always a number of ways to uh, do these operations. But you want something that looks something like that. All right, thanks guys. I'm gonna leave it at that and we'll continue on in the next video uh, with the next button, the turbo.